All right, Sheikh. So um, while you're talking, I'm thinking, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to test your memory. Uh, you, you've been learning the Deen for quite some time, and you've been teaching the Deen. Mm -hmm. So in your experience, do you remember instances where some individual came to you and told you that such and such surah or such and such hadith or, or such and such piece of knowledge actually transformed yeah. their life and, and how they were and how they are, right? <clears throat> the, the reason that I'm asking this question is that we could benefit from, from those types of inspirational uh, situations. This happens all the time. I love when when people come up to me and they tell me about a particular verse or statement of the Prophet, peace be upon him, that changed their life. It was their kind of epiphany moment. And I could remember one time that uh, I had been I had been explaining a verse from the 25th chapter of the Quran, Surah Al-Furqan. At the very end of that surah, there is a verse that talks about the stages of repentance and how to seek forgiveness. So I spent about two hours explaining this one verse. And when I was done, this one student came up to me, it was a sister, and she said to me, she said that she had never thought of this verse this way. And as a matter of fact, she had memorized the entire Quran. Mm -hmm. And Surah Al-Furqan was one of her personal favorites. And when she saw the stages of forgiveness, I focused on the part that when somebody repents and they renew their faith and their commitment with God Almighty, that kind of repentance is really special that Allah says to that person, not only am I going to give you a clean slate, but I'm also going to take all of your mistakes and I'm going to transform them into good deeds. So you start off with a full scale, but only this time, instead of mistakes, your scale is filled with good deeds. So that's an incentive for you to now really, enough is enough, I need to make a change because this is what Allah will do for me. She had been struggling with one particular um, issue in her life. It was a reoccurring sin that she couldn't get over. And she said that when she finally realized that this verse, not only will he forgive me, but take all of that and transform it into good deeds, her whole life at that moment changed. She woke up the next day, she stopped a lot of the things that she was involved in. She used to go to certain places, she cut off all of that. And that same girl, that same sister, is now a teacher at the mosque that she goes to. A place where she could barely put one foot in because it was just an uncomfortable place to be. Now she's teach now she's the teacher giving back mm -hmm. to the community. Mm -hmm. And I have like several stories like this of students who have shared similar you know situations and it's very uplifting. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,